Live Lean Nation, welcome back to the kitchen. We're gonna do an incredible recipe today that is not gonna be very quick, but it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I want you to do this on game day. Check out the ingredients. We're making ribs. That's right, Live Lean style. Look at that just fall off the bone. Yo. Yeah. Welcome to Live Lean TV. I am your host, Greg Acker, the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. Welcome to the kitchen. We're making ribs. It's football Sunday. So this recipe is going to take a few hours to do, but get up in the morning, chop a couple vegetables, preheat the oven, and you're going to have your house smelling absolutely delicious, and you're going to have even better food for the big game. So here's the ingredients that we're going to use to make these ribs right now. All these ingredients and the quantities, the instructions are going to be on my website. So go check out my website. You're going to get all of the instructions there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to preheat our pan. I got a little bit of coconut oil oil in here. So let's turn this up to medium high heat and we're first going to sear the ribs on both sides before we put them in the oven. Speaking of the oven, go preheat that right now for 350. All right, so before we sear our ribs, let's season them with some pepper, sea salt, Okay, now that the oil is heated in the pan, there's a little bit of pepper in there as well. It's a little trick to add even more seasoning. So we're going to put our ribs, see the side that I've already seasoned, that sides are going down. You hear that sizzle? That's what we want to hear when you're putting meat to the pan. Now we're going to season the other side. Make sure you get a lot of pepper on these bad boys and a dash of sea salt. We're going to sear each side. Now watch it, but it could take up to 12 minutes. So let's just let that go to work. We're going to come back and prepare the rest of these vegetables. All right, that was about five minutes or so. So let's flip the other ones. We're getting nice and brown. Do it for the last one. And we're going to cook it on the other side for another four minutes or so, but watch it. All right, guys, so you see I have the ribs off to the side. So now in this heated pan here, I just added a little bit more of the coconut oil some garlic and then red wine. That is smelling good. And the next thing we're gonna add is a few sprigs of fresh thyme. Man, this smells delicious. Let me just pull a few of these off and then I'll put the rest in there with that. You could smell that right now. Woo! So anyway, we're gonna let that set for just like 30 seconds. Then we're gonna add that to the pan. We're gonna keep going with these vegetables. All right, let's keep going. Let's get the sauces together here. We have the rest of the coconut oil, so two more tablespoons of coconut oil in there. We have a quarter cup of that red wine. Now we're going to add in half a cup of beef broth, a tamari sauce, just under a quarter cup there, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and lastly, we're going to add in a tablespoon of honey. So let's heat that up. And this is what we're going to use, once again, to glaze and braise these guys right here. All right, as you can see, all these liquids are together now. The honey has been melted. And we're going to use that to put over this. But before we do that, let's add all these vegetables into the mixture. Oh! So that's, that's mushrooms, we got some carrots there, some ginger, some garlic. And once again, go to my blog to get all of the quantities for this recipe. A tablespoon of horseradish, we mix that all around. We got some black peppercorns here. Take a tablespoon of those guys, around like that. And lastly, let's add this guy right here. So try to get the mixture over everything. Last thing you're gonna do, cover it with some tin foil. And your oven should be preheated by now to 350. Just like that. Stick it in the oven. Set your timer for three hours and make sure you watch it, check it every hour or so. Once you touch the ribs with your fork, it should just break apart nice and simply. So let's check it out in a few hours. 
All right, and we're back. Wardrobe change. We got some squats in as well. So it's been about four hours since the last time I talked to you. Let's check this in to see how our ribs are doing here. The smell in the house is absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping we're ready to go. So a little side note, if you wanted to see what we did in those last four hours, you gotta go over to our second channel, our daily vlog channel, Brad Got Through TV. We'll put the uh, link right here, go check it out. We did some crazy squats, 10 sets of it. Go check it out. All right, you could leave this set for about 30 minutes or so to let the juices and everything go together, but we're starving. We just got back from the gym, so we're gonna eat right away. Oh, man. We got a couple ribs on there. We got our sprig of thyme. And we got leftovers there, so this would make two or three servings, depending on how big you are. All right, let's give it a taste here. That just fell off the bone. Let's get a carrot in there. Mmm. Incredibly delicious. Those short ribs, it's a tough type of meat, but when you cook it slow like that for that long, it just falls apart in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. Damn, that's good approved. All right guys, so if you enjoy these style of videos where we take traditional foods that are not necessarily that healthy, we live lean to five them like this on teamlivelean.com. They're gourmet recipes because they taste delicious, but they're quick, they're simple, and they use everyday ingredients. So make sure you go check it out. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you click that like button down there. Make sure you subscribe. We shoot episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and keep Living Lean Nation got a great workout for you today. Today, we're supersetting compound movements with quick plyometric movements. We're gonna be building muscle, we're gonna be blasting our fat. Let's get started.